Here we have rationalizing a denominator using conjugates, variable in the denominator. So we also have a binomial, so we have to use the conjugate. So a minus six, and whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do the same to the top. So I just have a monomial times a binomial, which means I distribute. So six squared to x minus 12. And at the bottom, I have to FOIL it out. So this times this is 9 squared of x squared. This times this is negative 18 squared of x. This times this is positive 18 squared of x. And then positive 6 times negative 6 is negative 36. So we end up with square root of, or 6 square root of x minus 12 over 9x. These are gone, minus 36. Now you cannot, um, you actually can simplify this, you just can't simplify it the same way you do when it's just one number in the bottom. You can't split the fraction in this problem. The only way to simplify it when it has binomial, binomials is factoring, okay? So the more complicated that these fractions get, you have to go back to factoring. So I can factor out a six from both of those terms and then this would become a two. And I can factor out a nine from the bottom, which makes that x minus four. And then the six and the nine can reduce by three, leaving me with a two and a three. And so you can leave your answer in its factored form. I believe Alex will accept that as its answer. If it doesn't, then go ahead and distribute the numbers back in, and that will be your reduced final answer. Okay, so just be careful. When you only have one denominator, one term in the denominator, you can split the fraction. But when you have two terms in the denominator, you have to factor the GCF and then see if you can cancel something from there.